DJI reached out to me and asked me if I would take a closer look at the new DJI Goggles 3. N3, <laughs> actually called, which is uh, their budget-friendly version of the goggles that will allow you to have a real immersive flight with the DJI Neo as well as the Avatar 2. As the Avatar 2 comes with the goggles included, they, they might not be as relevant for that audience, but if you just purchased a DJI Neo, this might be something for you to check out, along with the Motion Controller 3. Let's get those goggles unboxed so we can see what's inside. And pay attention to this sticker on top of the box that you need to remove and it needs to be unbroken to make sure that you have a product that's brand new and haven't been tinkered with before. So let's get that one off. It's an empty cardboard thingy. Let's dive right in. Let's see what's going on here. Those are definitely different. So. <laughs> oh, they're huge. <laughs> they are pretty huge. And then there's this, this one, like a lens protector. Remove the glasses here. Those are definitely different and feel less expensive than the other ones. That's for sure. <laughs> but still, it's a very, very nice set of goggles. Be interesting to see what it looks like and there's a power bank in the back here Let's get rid of the box here they seem to be work with mirrors instead of having the screens directly positioned inside so that would be interesting so let's just try them by untightening this band and then... so. <laughs> So if I put the goggles 3 next to them, you can see there's, there's quite a difference in the way that those are built. These seem to work with the mirrors. So the, I guess the screen is somehow positioned here level-wise, and then uh, the image is projected by using mirrors uh, somehow uh, onto your eyes. Where the original goggles here, they are, the screens are located uh, on the other side of uh, the viewports. And there also seems to be more adjustment possibilities on the original goggles than there are on the new ones here, or the cheaper ones, the N3 ones. I guess that's reflected in the price, so that's okay. Now we are ready to connect the goggles uh, through the DJI Neo. The way we're gonna do that is we're gonna use the DJI Fly app and we're gonna use a USB-C cable like this. So let's start by firing up the goggles here. And then we are plugging in the, the USB-C cable in the, the top of the goggles here. Let's just remove the cap here for a sec. Then we plug it into the phone with uh, the latest and greatest DJI Fly app. It's doing something in Chinese. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I select the aircraft model. Then we need to fire this one up. So it's searching for the aircraft. Just pair them. So, then we will use the motion controller. Let's fire that one up first. Once you are through this process, everything will be a little bit easier. So what I need to do now is I need to hold down the power button here. So now they are paired. So if I start recording here on this one, yeah, so now we are actually connected. So now the Neo is uh, connected. Rit, rit, rit. Tutorial exit error. No. <laughs> so I guess I can remove all of this right now. So this is bound to go wrong, yeah? But let's try it anyway. Let's see what's going what will happen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so it knocked out the camera here. Yeah, I could have said that to myself. But yeah, 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 yeah. It's a well protected drone, so it takes a lot of effort <laughs> to destroy it. It's slightly more distorted the view here than uh, what I'm used to uh, with the, the other set of goggles because my eyesight is not completely uh, level here. Then I have a harder time using these goggles than I have the traditional ones where I can adjust, adjust the viewports to compensate for my different uh, eyesight. But the quality of the image, there's nothing to complain about here. And uh, I guess if the price is right, this is a really, really good starting point. Also, you're supposed to uh, have enough room so you can wear glasses inside these. That is uh, sort of the whole uh, idea with this, which is something with the more expensive Goggle 3, you're getting sort of the optics as part of uh, yeah, the glasses. You see, you have in the, the Goggle 3, you have these viewports that can be adjusted back and forward, and you can adjust the strength of each one uh, individually. So that's, um, those are a lot better suited for my eyesight, that's, that's for sure. But that does not necessarily make it a bad purchase, because these are quite affordable in comparison, and that will make you have the aircraft processor overheated. <laughs> so we just, we need to ventilate a little bit here. So. <laughs> that, that actually worked. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. So what I can show you here is that they, we have all the settings inside the, the goggles here. And hopefully it's recording on the SD card that I mounted inside the goggles here. So you can see what it is that I'm explaining. But you have the menu here exactly like you have on the Avatar. So you can go in here and you can disable the, yeah. I disabled the, this one. So it's not in, the, in beginner mode anymore. You have an overview of the transmission here. You have the settings. You have all sorts of stuff that can be set. So it's... Uh, you have uh, the camera settings, that's uh, the most interesting part. So right now it's 1080p 60. I can probably... I can't change it now because uh, I'm recording. So I have all the other stuff here that I can play around with. Uh, the aspect ratio... Uh, yeah, the frame rate, I could put that to uh, 4K 30, but that doesn't make much sense uh, when you're flying FPV. There's rock steady stabilization. ISO is uh, automatic grid lines. I can enable those if I want. Th those are more relevant when you're doing camera drone work, I guess. But I, I think maybe they're nice when you're flying around. Center point. So there's advanced camera settings here. How to record on takeoff. Yeah, you can mess around with a lot of these. Yeah, so that's nice. There's a lot more options to play around with here now uh, than uh, there is uh, on uh, <laughs> the traditional setup. So that's uh, kind of nice. So display, brightness. There's a defog option that's also nice. So if I start that, a uh, ventilator will start inside the goggles that will. So I'll remove the the fogging, not the fogging, but the fogging. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much as uh, expected. There's uh, access, uh, easy access to uh, the camera settings down here, where you can play around with those if you want that. Switch it into photo mode and actually take photos. So it keeps saying uh, aircraft is not connected to the DJI Fly app, and if I press it. So I guess what I'm dealing with right now is a licensing issue. So let's just try and connect the goggles here to the Fly app. It says flight restricted, go to Fly app and bind phone number for real name authentication. All right, that seems to have cleared it up. <laughs> so now.
So we're not taking off again. <laughs> so now everything is ready to go outside and uh, test out just to see how that would work. So let's see what we can get out of this. Let's prep the drone. Fire up the controller. And we have connection. So, oh. So let's launch it. And then it's just, this is normal mode, so there's not so much speed on this one. Woo. So, let's take a round where we fly it in sport. So we just click on on this. So now we are doing sport. So we are flying sport mode now. So see if we can manage to do it without wrecking it. Can we? Is there room over here? Whoa! <laughs> Do another victory round here. Wow, fuck, bugger. <laughs> oh, I would crash it. I knew that was going to happen because I kind of. <laughs> Let's see. Down here somewhere. Luckily, this is a very, very solid drone, so it's uh, it shouldn't be that big of a problem. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's here. It's fine. Just go back to the starting point and then I will show you. Look, I can't have a more with these goggles on. <laughs> so back in the recording studio here. So, you ready? Ooh. Then let's not double crash it here. Let's just go. One more round here. Those were the branches that caught us before. So. So now I can take it out of sport mode and then we can try some of the easy acro modes. We take it out of sport mode in normal mode and then we enable the easy acro here. You can probably not do it while we are recording. So let's just easy acro here. Now we do the, the flip. But just remember there's no sensors on the drone. So and also there are issues if you're not if you're flying too low and you're trying to flip it, it will tell you that it can't be done. So, so that is the flippy flippy mode. You can also do it on the side here. Something like that. So we can try the other mode. 
So the 180 degree drift. That's basically turning the drone around when we are flying forward. We need, again, we need to be very careful what it is that we are doing because we don't have any protection on the back. So we're flying this way. So this is 180 degree, so it basically flips around its own axis when you're flying forward. We had another crash. So it's getting kind of wet on the optics. <laughs> so let's just do a little cleaning here. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, we could probably launch it again here. It's a rock solid drone. So, so that was the easy acro modes. Let's just disable those. So, yeah, it can do the head tracking. So, the head tracking. So it basically follows uh, my movement of the head. So, I don't like that. It's a funny gimmick, but I don't like it. <laughs> so we are back in normal mode. Just fly around here just to make sure that the cameras are, uh, the, the goggles are actually quite okay. I was a little bit concerned about dizziness when uh, I got these uh, initially because this is a different kind of a setup where you can't really do like individual adjustments that compensates for uh, yeah, your vision not being completely yeah, symmetrical which mine is not but it works nice, that's my father Vil du have en Ja. Så. This is a nice combination, this little kid. I gotta tell you. <laughs> the goggles, they work actually quite nice uh, in conjunction with the, the Neo and uh, yeah, the Motion Controller 3. I think this is a pretty decent uh, setup to get started uh, with FPV. There might be some of you that would argue this has nothing to do with FPV, but um, because it's not as hardcore <laughs> when you're using this one and not a controller. But yeah, I kind of like it. And I think many of you would like it too. Especially I was super concerned uh, in the beginning that I would feel dizzy. So these are super nice and of course as usual there is a purchase link in the description below so you can pick up a set of your own if you like that. But because this uh, headset was sent to me uh, as a review sample from TGI, I encourage you to go out and search information about others, uh, what opinions they have about uh, these glasses so you can make an educated purchase. In case you want to know more about uh, the DJI Neo or some of the other stuff that I've been messing around with, maybe the Air 3S, I'll make sure to include videos here that uh, you can watch if you like. And I hope you like this video. If you did, then feel free to give a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you on the next one.